On November 15th, 2001, the Xbox was unleashed onto the gaming world, and players everywhere had so many questions. Are the graphics as powerful as PC? What kind of exclusives will it have? But one of the most asked questions that came to mind was... Good God, that's the controller? Look at the size of that thing! Yes, the first controller for the Big Green, affectionately known as the Duke, was a massive controller, giving comfort to those who were born with bear claws for hands and downright hatred for everyone else. This was even more apparent when Japan received a slimmer, more streamlined controller that eventually replaced the Duke all over the world, known as the Controller S. Me, personally, I love the Duke. Then again, I have mammoth hands. But there is a fan base out there for this colossal thing. So in 2017, when Microsoft announced that original Xbox games would be backwards compatible with the Xbox One, Hyperkin announced that they partnered with Seamus Blackley, one of the head designers of the Big Green, to bring back the Duke for Xbox One and Windows 10 PCs. And, like history repeating itself, most people asked, while others like myself were overjoyed and ready to pre-order. So here we are into May and it's finally arrived. The Duke. Now, I'll be honest with you, I don't do product reviews. I have no desire to do product reviews, so this is gonna be a little gorilla improv. But I had to make an exception for the Duke. I mean, it's the Duke. No one expected this. No one expected this behemoth of a controller to come back, especially for PC and, you know, Xbox One. So, yeah, and it's one of my favorite controllers, Reborn. So, yeah, I'm, I'm making an exception. This will probably be my only product review, but, um, you know what, enough gabbing. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's crack it open. All right, here we have it, the Hyperkin Duke for Xbox One and Windows 10. Now, I normally don't care much about the unboxing of something because you're just, you know, you're taking it out of a box. So let's just get that over with now. All right, let's get this bad boy out. Ooh, nice foam box. And that's a bit warm, I guess, for it's stuck in the UPS truck all day. But uh, as you can see, let me bring it over for model here. Here's my, my original Big Green Duke compared with the new Duke, and obviously it's the same. Same button layout, same uh, same design, same D-pad. Um, of course, the original Duke does feel a bit lighter than, uh, than the new Duke, probably due to the LED stuff inside, but as you can see, no... Uh, no spot for the memory card, obviously, don't need them. Instead, you got the uh, connector for the USB port here. Um, got the triggers, and here's the LB RB, because originally you, know, you had black and white, which you still have those, which is cool, because you can macro these to something else. But let me peel off this plastic stuff. I doubt the, uh, yeah, I guess that has to be powered on. I thought it. It's a little battery powered, but that's fine. But uh, yeah, feels real nice, real smooth. Um, all the buttons click pretty well. It's the Duke mm -hmm. for a new age. And of course, the obligatory USB cable. Go ahead and get that out. And uh, oh, it's pretty long. I uh, don't think it's as long as the uh, cord for the original uh, Xbox controller there, but it's pretty lengthy. So, yeah, all you do, just uh, plug it in there, plug in the PC. Uh, yeah, it would have been cool to have this wireless, but Microsoft has this thing about wireless, their wireless technology and sharing it with people. It's a no-go. So, let's go ahead and uh, plug this bad boy up and see how it works. I mean, obviously I don't have an Xbox One to try it out on, so we're just going to be doing Windows 10. So, let's head over to the computer. Alright, here we are at the computer. Booted up some Sonic Mania for this test. Um, now, when you plug in the controller, 
a lot of you probably already know this, but the home button, of course, is where the Xbox logo used to be, and when you press it, that lovely little uh, feature happens. Cool stuff. I dig, I dig, but uh, let's get into the meat of it. And as to be expected, it's a Duke controller. Um, nothing real special about it. If you used one back in the day on the big green, uh, you know to it what to expect. Of course, the only difference being the the bumper buttons, but uh, yeah, controls really well. Feels real good on the hands, especially these giant mammoth hands of mine. Uh, yeah, not much to really say. It's while it's a good controller, I mean, it's mostly for, to a point, nostalgia. You know, if you had an original Xbox back in the day, you uh, probably used this and you either loved it or hated it. Oh, almost died there. But if you loved it, it's back and in a big way. So especially now that Xbox One is uh, backwards compatible with some OG Xbox games. So, yeah. Definitely give it a sh give it a try if you're getting one. So there you have it, the the new Duke. Long live the Duke, right? Um, so the big question you're going to ask yourself is: Should you plop down the 70 bones to to get this thing? And my answer is yes, if you like this thing. I mean, it it is made for us nuts who who just love this big hulking controller otherwise yeah you're there's no point um, like I said it's more of a novelty but it's a cool novelty um, it I like to think of it as it's also there for people who just love the original Xbox when it first came out and have been fans of the system ever since and it's a way to celebrate it um, plus you know with the Xbox one users you'll uh, You'll have something cool to play those backwards compatible games with, but yeah, I cannot recommend this control. Now for 70 bucks, uh, definitely not 70 bucks, even though that's probably one of the coolest things I've seen on a controller and it hits me in the nostalgic feels. I just, I cannot recommend this unless you're a fan. Otherwise, yeah, plop them down, plop down the bones, but um... Yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching this very choppy product review. Um, I was not sent one of these, by the way. I pre-ordered it like everyone else. Uh, would have been nice to get a product review, but eh. But I want to throw out a special thank you to my patrons. Most importantly, Leslie1266. Uh, she helped me out to get the Duke. Um, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, Stefan, you as well, you guys, all, all my patrons, you all helped me out and uh, I'm eternally grateful. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut this before it gets any more embarrassing. Uh, yeah, 70 bucks, worth it only if you're a fan. Um, and uh, yeah, no more product reviews for the Dolly Popka unless something just amazing comes out that just catches my eye. Other than that, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.